Hello, hello. Welcome to another of my vlogs. I hope these vlogs are inspiring you to get out on your bicycle, even during this COVID lockdown. However, I do realise that some people won't be able to do 100 kilometres. So I have actually put a couple of uh, vlogs on, which were turn by turn routes. One to Hartlepool and Seaton, called To The Seaside, and the other was right in the countryside, which was about 15 miles long. Today I thought we'd go on a shorter ride, sticking mainly to cycle paths for those people who aren't uh, happy riding on roads. There is about half a mile on uh, minor estate roads, which are usually quiet, except when it's time for children to be taken to school or to be picked up from school. I'm starting the ride from the barrage today, from the metal flags which are adjacent to the upper Serpentine car park which is next to the Talpore pub. We'll leave the metal flags and cycle along past the Talpore down to the riverside. Turn right along there past the Archimedes screws and turn left over the lower level of the barrage. After crossing the bridge over the lock entrance, turn right and stay on the cycle path. Continue on the cycle path alongside the river. Ahead of us you can see our first objective, Infinity Bridge. Continue along and underneath Infinity Bridge, turn in left up the side of the bridge. Now onto the bridge. Proceed straight ahead towards the road and then turn right onto the cycle path. We'll follow this round until we reach Core Track Lane. But be careful to look for traffic when you have to cross entrances into estates or businesses. As you join the Core Track Lane dual carriageway, just follow the cycle track round to the right. We want to cross the dual carriageway, but we'll do so using the pedestrian crossings. One side at a time, and just wait until the lights go to green man and bike for you. Same on the other side. Coming crossed, turn right, follow the cycle path. Follow the cycle path round to the left. Just check for traffic before crossing the road. Feeling up to it, you could always have a coffee across the road. Now at the next roundabout, just keep round to the left on the shared path. And then join onto the concrete ah, paving. On the right is Home House Prison. Quite a large prison now, mainly due, used for remand prisoners I believe. We'll have to take this uh, slight kink to the left now. 
and then continue along here on the cycle path. The cycle path then takes off to the left on a smaller path, just as you can see here. Now we continue along the cycle path through a couple of boulders used to block the path from cars round a Z-bend and then where the cycle path turns off to the left we continue uphill to Albany Road where we'll be turning right into the quiet estate roads now take the first road on the right down to the bottom where you turn left. And at the end of this road, turn right. Having passed the care homes on your left, continue to the end of the road and join another cycle path which runs down the side of the A19. There's no need to rush as you go around. Feel free to stop anytime you like. You can see the pulleys at the top of uh, Newport Bridge. We'll have a look at that in a little while. As we approach Port Track Roundabout, we're cycling along the slip road onto the A19, which we want to cross and go underneath the A19 using all the pedestrian crossings. If you're not happy cycling across them, Please feel free to get off and walk on each of these crossings. come to cross the road into the works just watch the traffic on either side wagons going in and out when you come to the next crossing use that to continue your way around the roundabout Always make sure the traffic's stopping before you cross. As you come to the entrance to the fertilizer works, have a look behind. If there's nothing coming and the lights are for you, you can go straight across. Otherwise, stop and use the pedestrian crossing. They're there to help you get around without having to deal with the traffic. We're not going over Newport Bridge today. We're going to take the path down to the left here. And it goes down to the riverside and which we'll use to get back to the barrage.
after passing under the road that runs over Newport Bridge it's on left of the junction then negotiate the squeeze gate with drop handlebars you can normally just cycle through but with straight handlebars you might have to stop and negotiate your way through by twisting the front wheel to get the handlebars through if you stop and look back you can see the whole of Newport Bridge there's pulleys at both sides which used to be used to raise the centre part of the bridge to allow ships to come through the big grey blocks on the tops are the counterweights that would come down as the centre section went up from here on it's just straight along the riverside on the nice cycle path which is shared with pedestrians just take it easy give the pedestrians a shout and normally they'll move across quite quickly to let you past try not to uh, rush along because sometimes they've got dogs which may jump out in front of you just take your time and enjoy the ride along the side of the river occasionally as you ride along here it's possible to see seals but I think with the water being so high and so brown today you might not see anything at all as you come along you'll see there are a few lakes on the right hand side there are a couple of viewpoints where you can stop and have a look to see what's there we come to another squeeze gate but on this occasion you've got to be careful as it's a blind one thank you Just take your time and get through them the same way you did the other one. Now all that's left is to turn right. And to make our way back up the hill to the top one. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> Just take it nice and easy up the hill. Use your gears if you need to. That's the Talpor. And back along to the metal flags. I hope this short vlog has helped to inspire you to get out on your bicycles for a short ride in the middle of this COVID pandemic. If you followed in my wheel tracks, I hope you've enjoyed your ride. It's not too difficult and being mainly on the cycle paths, you're away from the traffic most of the time. Just remember to use the pedestrian crossings to get across the busy roads there's no need to rush around the course it's only about six miles just take your time stop anywhere you like have a look around even here next to the metal flags you can have a vista of the Cleveland Hills and if you look carefully you can see Rosebury Toppin thanks for watching until we meet again Bye for now, stay safe.